and Courtney Williams. You are not in the care. We'll open up immediately to questions, and we will start with Jamila Johnson. Jamila, if you would. Good evening, ladies. Um, congratulations on the win. This question is actually for Courtney. Uh, Courtney, what was your experience like in your first All-Star game? And also, um, it kind of looked like you were deferring a little bit to teammates and you're like passing a lot earlier in the first half. And then you kind of went on your little offensive tear there in the second half and you were, you were more um, aggressive. So was that just part of the game plan or were you getting more comfortable? Uh, you know, I never like to force anything. So if I can pick my spots, um, that's kind of what I try to do. But man, I was out there having fun. You know, it was fun, man, just being around all these great players and just playing the game that we love. I enjoyed myself. All right, thank you. Our next question will come from Cheryl Ray. And Cheryl, you will be followed by Allison Moran. Cheryl, go ahead. Hi, Ellie. I, I want to ask you, winning your third title at three-point shooting, you make it look easy, but I know it's not. Tell me about your, your competition there tonight. Yeah, it's definitely not easy. It's stressful, actually. <laughs> um, a little nerve-wracking, but I think you just kind of got to get in a rhythm and be confident, try to relax as much as you can. And the crowd and, you know, the team WNBA was, just had my back, so it just it felt cool to be out there. The embrace you had with uh, Courtney, that has to be a special moment, isn't it? Yeah, it was awesome. The first thing I looked at, I was like, did I get it? Because I, I, I can't tell really if I won or not, but by the look on her face, I knew I had it. So it was cool that she did that. Thank you. Congratulations. Right. Thank, Thank you. Allison Moran. Allison? Hi there. Congratulations, first of all, to all of the All-Stars here. Um, the, I, my question, though, is for Allie. Allie said this was your last time. Is Did I hear that correctly? Yes. I told myself before this, I'm like, this is the last time I'm doing this. So I got to go out on top. <laughs> I believe that. Did you end up doing any kind of prep for this? You said that, or did, you know, uh, some before you had, and then you said, I'm not, I'm going to just relax. Is that what you did? Yeah, that's what I did pretty much. Yeah. Thanks and congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Next question comes from Alexa Filippo. Alexa, go ahead, please. Hey, Breezy. Um, congrats on the win. Um, two part question What's been your favorite experience so far of, of this whole week that you've been there? And then also, you were, looked like a very proud teammate filming JJ when she was in the three point contest. So, what was it like watching her crush it then? Uh, no, that was definitely. That my favorite part, you know, cheering her on in the three-point contest. I, um, I mean, I know, I know Cleveland's a great kid. <laughs> sure, I know she did. She, uh, she came out hot, and I was excited for her. Um, I thought she had it in the bag, but, you know, Cleveland's a great shooter, so uh, she came out with the win. But, you know, I, that was definitely my favorite part, cheering her on. Courtney, you look pretty hyped for JJT. I saw you out there, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I stick together, Connecticut. Old school, Connecticut. <laughs> you know, I spent, some, I spent some good time there, so... That's my dog, man. All right, thank you. Our next question, Aislinn Jowers. Hey, congrats on all of y'all's accomplishments. For Breezy and Courtney, how was it to um, see Enrique, who's also a first-time All-Star, um, come out and win the MVP? I mean, Enrique was going crazy. You know what I mean? She, um, for a minute, she had us on her back. It was carrying us to the finish line. So we all know what Rike can do. Um, it wasn't surprising to us at all. I um, mean, I'm proud of her, and I'm glad that, you know, she's getting that acknowledgement. So it was, it was dope, man. All right, we have time for just one or two more questions, and we're going to go to Eric Wilson. Eric, go ahead. Appreciate your time, ladies. But this is for the uh, 3 P champ, Allie Quigley. Uh, Quigs, you know, Candace called this the Allie Quigley Invitational. So now that you've lived up to that name, how does it feel to truly go out on top with regards to being the three-point champion? Yeah, I heard she said that, so she's putting a lot of pressure on me, but uh, um, that's awesome she, she said that, and it just feels good to get the win. It's always like, oh, it's fun to do it, but it only feels really good if you win it, so I'm glad <laughs> I got the win to go home, home with. And just a real quick follow-up. Um, can we just talk about your foundation, where the money is going and the importance of it? Yeah, um, my dad passed away when I was young and 
we have a memorial scholarship at a private school back where I'm from for, for kids that, you know, have single parents or kind of live in a, a tough neighborhood. So it just goes for them so they can have a private education. And it's the way I went my whole life. So it's just kind of for him and for all the kids back in my hometown. All right, Brianna, Courtney, Allie, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Oh.